Good morning children. How are you all? Nice to meet you in this online. It's a very pleasant moment for me to be with you in online. Okay, children, I hope you are taking good care of your health. Am I right? Okay, this is Nalita, your science and social teacher. Today I am going to start first lesson in science. The topic name is living things and non-living things. Children, we know that we are surrounded by a number of things around us. Okay? Some of them living things while some are non-living things. Okay? The world is divided into living things and non-living things. Okay, children? Children, how can we say which is living thing and which is non-living thing? Am I right? Okay. Those of you who don't know about living things and non-living things. Well, today we are going to discuss about living things and non-living things. Okay, children? I'll show you some pictures. Now let's identify whether it is living thing or non-living thing. Okay, children? Okay. Children, look at me. What is this? It is a tree. Am I right? Now tell me, children, is it living thing or non-living thing? Very good, children. It is living thing. Children, tell me, is it living thing or non-living thing? Very good, children. It is living thing. Now tell me children, is it living thing or non-living thing? Very good children, it is non-living thing. Children tell me, is it living thing or non-living thing? Very good children, it is non-living thing. Okay? Children, how can we say these are living things? Then how can we say these are non-living things? Am I right? Now let us see. Children, things, okay, that feel, take, breathe, okay, need food to move, to reproduce are called living things, okay. What are living things, children? Things that breathe, feel, reproduce, okay. Move on their own are called living things. Okay, children. Coming to non-living things. Non-living things do not take food, do not breathe, okay, do not feel, do not reproduce are called non-living things. Okay. Have you understood, children? What are the difference between living things and non-living things? Very good, children. Things such as TV phone okay duster marker or non-living things okay things such as plants animals and human beings are the examples of living things have you understood children living things. Now tell me children, what are living things? Very good. Things that breathe, take food, feel, on their own and reproduce. Or called living things. Children, what are living things? Very good. 
things that breathe take food feel move on their own and reproduce are called living things okay children now tell me few examples of living things very good all plants animals and human beings are the examples of living things okay children children there are certain features of living things okay that make them to different from non living things understood children now let us discuss about features of living things okay features of living things children all living things breathe okay living things All living things need air to breathe. Okay, we breathe in air through our nose. Am I right, children? We breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. Okay, so different living things have different organs to breathe in. Okay, now let us see. Animals such as dog, cat, lion, tiger have nose. Okay, so they breathe. through nose okay animals and human beings breathe through nose and coming to fish fish lives in water okay fish breathe through gills okay and coming to plants plants breathe through stomata okay what is stomata i'll tell you children every leaf has tiny openings on present on the under side of a leaf okay tiny openings under side of the leaf okay we can't see through our naked eye okay but we can see under the microscope okay tiny openings are present on the under side of a leaf are called stomata okay plants breathe through stomata okay children have you understood okay now now tell me children how animals can breathe very good children through nose okay and coming to fish fish breathe through gills okay and how plants can breathe children very good children plants breathe stomata okay stoma is singular okay stomata is plural okay and one more thing children can you guess how insects can breathe very good insects breathe through air holes are also called spiracles okay so insects have air holes on their bodies okay are called spiracles or air holes have you understood children so here different living things have different organs am i right but the function is same okay what we understood here children all living things need air to breathe have you understood children okay living things take food living things 
एक फूड चिल्ड्रन ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स नीड फूड टू ग्रो एंड लिव ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू एनी एक्टिविटीज वी नीड सम एनर्जी एम आर आई चिल्ड्रेन ऐसा नो ओके सो वी नीड फूड टू ग्रो एंड टू लिव ओके If you want to do any activities like reading, writing, playing, cleaning, so we need some energy. Then where do we get energy? By taking food, we get energy. Am I right, children? Okay. Green plants. I'll show you. Yeah. Green plants make their own food by using air, water, and sunlight. Okay. Animals and human beings birds depends on the plants for food okay children have you understood okay children plants prepare their own food okay so the other animals depends on the plants animals like cow buffalo okay birds insects okay human beings or depends on the plants okay most of our food comes from plants am i right children plant food like fruits vegetables okay pulses cereals okay and we get food from animals also okay animal food like meat milk and eggs okay so plants prepare their own food the remaining all depends on the plants directly or indirectly understood children okay living things grow children all living things can grow grow means increasing height and weight okay look at me children a baby grows into an adult okay a kitten grows into a cat okay a seedling grows into a plant have you understood children all living things can grow children can you give one example very good children a puppy grows into a dog can you give one more example children very good a calf grows into a cow okay what we understood here all living things can grow okay now living things can move children living things can move on their own okay example i'll show you children look at me children how birds can move from one place to another place very good birds have wings okay so birds can fly okay and coming to fish fish living sorry fish lives in water am i right okay fish swim in water with the help of pins okay these body parts are called pins okay how fish can swim in water children very good with the help of pins okay animals like cow dog cat okay lion tiger have legs okay even human beings also have legs so we can move with the help of legs animals move animals move from one place to another place for searching food and shelter okay human beings also move with their legs animals move with their legs okay understood children how can we move from one place to another place very good children we have 
two legs, right? So we can walk, run and dance. Am I right? Okay. Coming to fish. How fish can move children? Very good. Fish have fins. Okay. How fish can move children? Fish can swim in water with the help of fins. Okay. Next. How birds can move children? Birds can move with the help of wings. Okay. So most of the insects also have wings. So insects also can fly. Understood children? How animals can move from one place to another place? With their legs. Okay. Fish can move with the help of pins. Okay. And coming to birds, birds move with the help of wings. Have you understood children? Okay. Living things can feel. Children, all living things can feel. Okay. Children, now tell me. How many sense organs do we have? Very good children. We have five sense organs. Okay. Eyes help us to see things around us. Okay. Nose help to breathe and smell. Am I right? And tongue to taste food. Okay. Ears help to hear sounds. Okay. Skin help us to feel touch and pain. Okay. So, these five sense organs help us to feel changes around us like happiness, sadness, okay, pain, hunger. So, these are the different feelings, okay. Then, plants also can feel changes around them for example plants grow towards the sunlight okay and one more example children insects like cockroach and butterfly have body parts are called and name okay so these body parts are help them to feed changes around them okay children have you understood all living things can feel. Okay? Living things reproduce. Children, all living things can reproduce. What is reproduce? I will tell you. Children, please note down the definition of reproduce. Okay? The process in which living things produce Young ones of their own kind is called reproduction. What is reproduction, children? The process in which living things reproduce egg ones of their own kind. Okay children, all living things can reproduce. Now let's discuss about plants. Okay, how plants can reproduce. Okay. Children, most of the plants reproduce by producing seeds. Okay, 
some plants reproduce their roots stems and leaves okay how plants can reproduce most of the plants reproduce by producing seeds okay but some plants are reproduce their roots stems and leaves okay children look at me children it is visible to you children okay very good children most of the plants reproduce by producing seed okay that gives rise to another plant of the same kind when we sown into the soil okay children so most of the plants reproduce by producing seeds okay children but some plants reproduce their roots stems and leaves now learn about how animals can reproduce okay animals reproduce by laying eggs or giving birth and once of their own kind okay animals like birds snakes insects reproduce by laying eggs okay how birds can reproduce by laying eggs for example hen lays eggs okay from which chicks comes out okay children now animals like cow buffalo okay tiger lion give birth to young ones of their own kind okay children look at me cow give birth to young ones okay mother give birth to child okay children mother sorry mother with her child okay cow with its calf okay have you understood children how animals can reproduce okay children what we learn today very good living things and features of living things have you understood children okay i give you small work for you children to do at home collect any five pictures of living things paste in your scrapbook or a4 sheet paper okay you can paste on the a4 sheet paper also name them and learn the spellings thank you have a nice day children